What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on the channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. This video is also brought to you by two things. Since we don't do any sponsorships here on the channel, I'll go ahead and chill them out real quick. The first is my music, which is available anywhere you stream music. And the second is a new podcast I just launched called Chasing Infinity. It is myself and ChatGPT as my AI co-host, and we dive into a wide range of topics. So check it out. Links in the description below, and I appreciate the support. Okay, let's jump into today's topic, which is the Hall of Legends promo phase two. Now you can see that we're almost a day into this. I guess we're, we're 18 hours in roughly. Um, and I wanted to check what the progress was because I know that there was a solid appetite for these cards. They seem to be much more um, desirable, at least at least the Night Stalker, right? Uh, but even Delia was, was quite good compared to the last cards. And, um, you know, there's nothing new being introduced here, which is fascinating. Whereas you had like new abilities um, in, in, in the last one, which was, again, interesting. So here we go, view leaderboard, and you can see that we are currently, well, once this loads, at 177 million DEC. Now, keep in mind that we were at 113, roughly 113 million DEC from the first phase. So if my math is right, we're probably around 64, maybe closing in on 65 million DEC or credits that have been spent so far on this. And I gotta say, that's that's pretty good progress. Now, I don't know how all of the, um, let's put it this way. I don't know how all of the leaderboard jockeying for position is going to work. Obviously, there's still three more phases beyond this. So I don't know that we'll necessarily see that happen here. But with these being quite good cards, I do wonder if people are going to, um, you know, start looking at their position in this, seeing if they want to buy more of like this card versus the next card. And there was a, a good suggestion put out there. Um, I think it was Bjangles, but I, I don't want to, I don't want to misquote anyone, uh, of, of just having those cards and knowing what's available and what's coming down the pipeline so that people could prepare accordingly. Now, I mean, I think that's a good idea. Don't get me wrong, but I also wonder if there's like an element of like surprise to it. Granted, the fact that like this is going to be three months away, right? You got November, December, and January, so I don't know where the team is at in terms of like finalizing the stats. But I do think that that would be helpful for people that are planning to buy. So from a practical perspective, absolutely, I agree with it. And if the team could release that, I wonder if that would make people go harder or softer that weird analogy but you know if they would go more or less for like the current or if they plan to go more or less for like the third or fourth or fifth based on the stats that they see but as of now you know it's it's hard to argue that the hall of legends promotion is not working as intended um there was no so oops, keep in mind that there was no um changes to the price here, right? Even though the opportunity was put out there, it was shut down relatively quickly. And now we're at a point where people are still continuing to buy. And, you know, I, I get it. You might look at that and say, well, you know, whales want this exclusive stuff. And that's actually a valid concern. Um, uh, I don't know if it's uh, a strong enough criticism to say that, you know, this is not being something, this is not something that's helping the game economy overall. But considering that we are, you know, like I said, less than a day into this and we're more than halfway to what we need, which is roughly 100 million. And actually because the first one someone over delivered, you could say as long as we get to 200 million, uh, you know, everything kind of like phases itself out well, uh, as long as we get to that 600 million overall. And again, there's five phases here. If each of them get 500 million, and then of course there's this auction promo that the team is planning to put out there. Again, I don't even know what the timing for that is. I, I can imagine I can't, let me put it this way. I can't imagine it's going to be in like February after all this is done. So I do wonder how that's going to play out and how much people are planning to spend on that versus this. But all in all, if each of these phases, right, number six, including the uh, auction promo, end up pulling in a hundred million on average, well, at the end of the day, this ends up being at least a break even situation for the Dow, but it created a lot more volume for, uh, or it created a lot more volume and it brought products into the space that people wanted. Thanks for people to spend money on. Obviously, I would love to see us get closer to like the billion range because there's just so much DEC out there still. But at this point, you know, beggars can't be choosers. And as long as we break even, I, I guess I cannot complain. I mean, I can, and I'm sure that there will be people and they, they have valid complaints. But as, a, as of now, you know, if this is the benchmark that we're going for, we're getting quite close to that. Um, and um, yeah. 
so far. All I can say is so far, so good. So for the people that bought the cards, I'm curious to know how good are they? Are they uh, absolutely crucial for the meta? Are you enjoying them? Have they come in handy? Have they won you some SPS? Please let us know in the comments below so that maybe you'll entice some more people to, uh, to buy in. But that's all I have for you guys in this video. I'll catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.